Hi, Grade 12s, and welcome to the first life science video. In the CAPS curriculum document for life science, this section is under DNA, the code of life, and the content is looking specifically at ribonucleic acid. You have to be able to explain the transcription of RNA from DNA and the translation of RNA into protein during protein synthesis. So basically, you have to be able to give a sequence of events. In this short video, I'm just going to be going through the process of um, protein synthesis. Students often struggle with this section in the biology syllabus. So I'm going to be going through the process very briefly and showing you how you can actually do something to help you understand it better. Transcription is the first stage of the process. So you have to understand transcription in order to understand protein synthesis. Now, the, se the sequence of the bases in the DNA can be thought of as letters that provide the basis for the genetic code. Cellular signals reach the nucleus and they cause binding proteins to start binding on a particular gene. And then the enzyme called RNA polymerase then binds to this complex. Once this has happened, then the DNA will start to unwind and the enzyme synthesizes a strand of messenger RNA using the sequence of bases on the one strand of DNA to create a complementary strand of mRNA. Here is a diagram just showing or summarizing the process of transcription. The second stage is translation and this happens outside the nucleus. So this is the main part of protein synthesis. The mRNA passes through the pores in the nuclear membrane and is translated into a protein by tRNA on the ribosomes. The mRNA molecule is divided up into codons. A codon consists of three bases. Um, and they code for a specific amino acid. One codon serves as the initiation codon for translation, and there are three codons that terminate translation. The translation process builds a polypeptide with the precise sequence of the DNA of the mRNA strand. And this diagram just summarizes the process. Here is a slow motion animation of translation. So I'll be showing you how you can do stop motion videos to help you model the process. If you model the process, you will get a better understanding of the DNA sequence, how the DNA sequence is translated into the mRNA sequence, and how the mRNA sequence builds up the protein chain. For more information on stop motion animations, you might like to do this video tutorial. Pause the video now and Go to YouTube and look up Science Filmmaking Tips, and here is the video link. Now, I will briefly go through with you how to make your own stop motion video. Firstly, take this picture of the DNA strand. This will serve as your background for um, transcription. Prepare by writing out U, A, C, and G on pieces of paper and make a few of them. Rearrange these randomly around the picture and then draw an enzyme on a separate sheet of paper. So this is what you should have at the start. Now, step one, take a photograph of what you have there. Then step two, move the RNA polymerase over the strand and move one of the complementary U nucleotides along the coding strand, take a picture. Then, Move the polymerase along and move the next complementary U nucleotide along the coding strand and take a picture. And so you will do it with the third one, which this time will be an A nucleotide. Move the polymerase along and take a picture. You will continue to do this until you have built up the entire complementary mRNA strand as shown in the picture there. You can then show the mRNA strand moving out of the nucleus through the nuclear pores. Take a few pictures with it from first from the inside and moving slowly through the pore. Now you can do the same for translation. This will require more work because the tRNA must be complementary to the mRNA codon. 
and it is called an anticodon. And you will, and each tRNA must also have its corresponding amino acid. So there's the basic outline of what you should be working towards. And continue to take pictures with your smartphone. When you've done that, download the Stop Motion app. So why do this hands-on activity or the stop motion um, animation? Well, this hands-on activity will help you remember the nucleotides on the strand must be complementary to each other. So A matches up with T, G matches up with C. It will also help you remember that in RNA, the nitrogenous base T is replaced with U. And it will help you remember the sequence of events in protein synthesis. It will help you remember that the DNA actually codes for the protein. The mRNA is built up according to the DNA sequence. The mRNA codons are what determine the amino acid sequence as based on the DNA. And the tRNA, which, is, which has the complementary anticodon to the mRNA, brings the amino acid to the ribosome. And hopefully you'll have fun making the video. So thank you for joining me for this short video on protein synthesis.